the prelim headliner meet, and this one should actually be a banger. It's Senior Perfecto, a.k.a. Bill Algio. Coming as a minus 165 favorite in this one against downtown TJ Brown, who at plus 135, he looked pretty nice most recently against Eric Silva. And granted, Eric Silva was making his debut and looked truly awful, but it was a performance of the night victory for downtown TJ Brown and made it three of four, right? He has wins over Charles Rosa, a.k.a. Boston Strong, and Kai Kamaka the third before that in a very close fight. A lot of people think Kai won that fight. Kai ends up getting cut, heading over to Bellator, so really ended up changing his trajectory. But nonetheless, a win on paper for TJ Brown, and his losses are to Shayla Nerdenbeka and to Danny Chavez and Jordan Griffin. So not the greatest of talent that TJ Brown has lost to, and taking on Bill Algio, who most recently just lost to Andre Touchy Feely, and that was a fight, admittedly, that I thought Algio was going to get done, but Andre Feely reminded us that he still is an always tough out and is a true level test at 145. And even so, it was technically a split decision, kind of uh, controversial, I thought, because it should have been a clear unanimous win for Feely. But nonetheless, a split decision loss for Algio there. And that was what halted his win streak prior to that, because he had a nice uh, win over Joe Anderson Brito. He was a fat dog in that one and ends up cashing. And then he absolutely smoked Herbert Burns, made Herbert Burns quit. And our performance of the night in that one as well. He has some fake questionable losses as well, though, right? Ricardo Lamos. I guess it's not too, too bad, given that it was a couple years ago when Lamos was still killing it. And then he lost to Ricardo Hamos, not Lamos, who you never know what you're getting from Ricardo Hamos. So what are your thoughts on this one? It's a prelim headlining spot and one that I find interesting that he's on the same card as Billy Q. Bill Algio, I like to think, is sort of like a poor man's version of Billy Q. Do you think he capitalized on this one over downtown TJ Brown or does all that training that TJ Brown does with Bryce Mitchell out in Arkansas, is that going to pay off and he's going to be the one that capitalized in this prelim headline spot? Who are you going with? Yeah, no, uh, I, I really like this matchup um, and uh, Senior Perfecto, you know, had a bad, uh, you know, outing last fight. So I think Brown is going to take this, you know, underdog hype um this win streak and he's gonna keep it going i think bill aljo senior perfecto is senior perfect the bomb because that guy is sniffing his own farts uh thinking they're smelling like roses and they're not so i think tj brown is going to maul i think he's going to ground and pound take him to the ground he doesn't care about his uh, at bill's jiu-jitsu game he really doesn't and i think he's going to tko in the third round yeah, perhaps. I mean, TJ Brown does he does hit pretty hard, and you might think that he could have the st uh, stand-up advantage for sure. If this fight does hit the mat, though, do you think that TJ Brown is going to have the skills necessary? Because Alex is one of those dudes who seems like when he can get on top of you and just sort of control you using his length, using his reach, he finds ways to often grind out decisions when doing so. Any chance that Brown can survive on the ground or... Do you think that TJ Brown has the groundwork necessary or just has the takedown defense that will be required in order to keep this fight standing where perhaps he has an advantage? How does the grappling factor in this one? Yeah, you know, I, I think Bill will have, you know, his jiu-jitsu is pretty solid. He's very tall, lanky, so there is a lot of submission threats going on there. But I don't know. I think TJ Brown will be strong enough to defend, demolish, and ground and pound if necessary. But uh, I... I I, I just like his strength and size. I think he'll be able to get in there and uh, kind of ruffle him up versus the little skinny tall boy, Senior Perfecto. One punch, Perfecto is out. Uh, downtown, I could see him losing decision, but I don't know. I, th I think TJ is going to win this uh, by KO or TKO. Yeah, that would be sweet and would be capitalizing on the moment for sure because in a prelim headline spot, I feel like this is probably the best opportunity that both guys have seen thus far throughout their tenure. I mean, I know Algio had a pretty good opportunity uh, against Touchy Feely, but prelim headlining spot on a pretty solid card like this, pretty cool moment for both guys for sure. And you mentioned the decision. Basically, both sides think that whoever wins this fight, it's going to be a decision machine. 15% is rolling with you and downtown TJ Brown, and 85% is rolling with Senior Perfecto. And he does, speaking of Bill Algio, have sort of this like air of cockiness. He, he can sort of uh, rub you the wrong way for sure. So 
I can see why some might feel a, te- a, a touch of animosity toward Bill Algio for sure, but I do think that he's a little bit more talented than downtown TJ Brown, and I actually think this is going to be a straight-up banger. I think both these dudes are going to come to absolutely bang Algio and Brown, both down to sort of uh, eat one to give one type stuff, and I see TJ Brown really starting to fade in the last sort of six or seven minutes. And because of that, I'm going to go Algeo by decision, but I anticipate this to be pretty much a slobber knocker meet. And if ultimately this one ends up being fight of the night, that wouldn't be the craziest thing to me because this is the opportunity for both guys. And they're both trying to make a name for themselves beyond just the hardcore fans. So I'm going to go with Senior Perfecto. I like him by decision, but I wouldn't be too, too upset if downtown TJ Brown just absolutely slept him. Any last thoughts? No, this is a good fight. Let us know in the comments. You're taking downtown or perfecto.